Hi guys! Welcome to the Craft Time Studio. I made an earth-friendly slash budget decor tutorial for this week. And it's Christmas themed. So I'm showing you how I made my Christmas decor without spending any money. I really wanted to do this Christmas budget decor tutorial because I know that many of us are still recovering financially from this pandemic. So for the first thing that I recycled, I used a tin can. I also used recycled ribbons from my previous presents, a piece of burlap from my scraps, some holly twine, flat nose pliers, cutters, and faux pine leaves from an old wreath. I forgot to include here some paper twine that I also used. So the first thing that I did was to fold in the sharp edges of the can using my flat nose pliers. Then I got my cutter to slice through the label to get it off. Using my glue gun, I glued the paper twine around the edges of the can just to make it extra safe. I also used glue to attach my ribbon around the can. I laid out a second thinner ribbon around and ended in the same spot as the first ribbon. And then I cut off the excess ribbon. I cut the burlap into a rectangle about an inch thick and used this to cover the edges of my ribbon. Next, I rolled out my paper twine in a tight spiral and glued this at the bottom of the can. This will help keep my faux pine leaves in place. Once it is glued to the bottom, I grab my pine leaves and wrap a couple of fake holly on it for a pop of color. You can also just use glue gun to glue this at the bottom of the can. This next step is optional. You can use scrap tool fabric or green fruit nets to fashion into leaves that you can stick to the sides of the pines.
Finally, I twisted a bit of holly again to glue at the center of the burlap. I also used a bit of juice paint in white to color the fringes of the pine leaves to mimic snow. And there you have it! You can place this on a mantle or use it for a pop of Christmas in random places around the house. For the next craft, I used a hammer, wooden blocks from a dollar tree, wooden beads, tiny nails, wooden alphabets, acrylic paint and a brush. I had to choose Christmas words that were at most four letters long. So I chose to form the words hope, joy, and love. I gave a first coat of white on all the letters. Then I hammered in the wooden beads to each corner of the block. Next, I add a second coat of white paint. As the paint is drying, I get some scrapbook paper to place on top of the wooden blocks. This is an optional step, but I really loved how those red polka dots looked so I couldn't resist. I measured the length of each block and proceeded to cut my paper accordingly. After gluing the scrapbook paper on each block, I set it aside to dry. Next, I mixed some peach paint for that final coat on the alphabet. I do it for the front and back of each letter. Then, this is set aside to dry completely. Once it is completely dried, I glue the letters on the block. I just kept all the letters upright by using another block for the letters to lean on. As these are drying, I remembered that I have broken paper clips that had an image on them. I knew immediately that these would be perfect miniature dwarves for my wooden blocks. I sanded each paper clip so that the paint would stick on it. And then I used a very thin, detailed brush to place the details on the paper clip.
while the figures are drying, I get some glitter nail polish to put some sparkle on my design. And this is what I ended up with. These train cards are my favorite idea and it really, except for time, it didn't cost me anything. And finally, my easiest craft is this frame decor. I use an old wooden picture frame, dried leaves, some burlap, holly, a glue gun, E7000 glue, and a wooden lock. I also cut out patterns from a scrapbook paper. The first thing that I did was I sanded the edges of the wood picture frame to give it a worn look. Next, I tried to see which picture from the scrapbook would fit the frame. Once I have chosen the image, I cut it out and set it aside. Next, I measured the burlap that goes behind the frame and cut it to size. And then, I tried out a couple of layouts. I glue first the burlap to the backing of the frame. And then, I put my holly and the other accents and then glue it. It's that simple. Now you have woodsy frames for Christmas. So as I've mentioned, the easiest to make was this frame design, but my favorite actually were those wooden train cards with the dwarves on them. So I hope that you can give a thumbs up if you liked this eco-friendly video. For more eco-friendly home decor and clay tutorials, please consider subscribing to this channel. Thank you and have a great week ahead. Bye!